the story. Here's the story with the little strong ass 17 year old nigga. Okay. So. So the reason. The reason that I'm in Gainesville is because I fucking live there, nigga. I don't live where broke niggas. So now the leader of 18 is this nigga who turns out later to be 27 in third grade. But. I thought the nigga was 19 the whole time because the nigga was smoking a cigarette like me. The nigga was as tall as me. And me and him was the only people on the soccer course that was cussing. I was trying not to cuss because people was recording. But he was saying fuck shit all day. I'm like, I like this little boy. He got heart. He talks shit about me all game. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm a real gang player, motherfucker. You can talk shit to me as long as we don't lose, motherfucker. I got no problems. But then as the game is going on, I'm realizing this feels like a setup. <laughs> And my teammates are trying to let me know something ain't right. <coughs> so, before the game's gonna be over, because if you watch the tape, the game never officially ends, I end it. He said some slick shit, and I said, hey, you know y'all can't win this game, so why would you say fuck me? And he said, well, what you gonna do about it? I said, listen. You know I'm in trouble with the motherfucking law. You see all these people recording. But just understand, if I can take your ass around this motherfucking corner, I would explain to you you don't talk to grown niggas like that. So now when we go around this corner, I'm asking all the pertinent questions. Do you have a mother? Do you have a father? Where are they? All these people in the hood, nobody is coming. Not one person in the hood is gonna step in front and go cat. Oh, not this baby. I'm looking at all the faces and everybody looked at me like, not that nigga, okay? That nigga's a menace to the community. So I said, okay, maybe I'm just being too strong, because why would a kid be trying to fuck with me? I said, maybe my posture is wrong, because I've been playing soccer, and maybe this nigga think I'm trying to stunt on him in his hood. Let me change my motherfucking posture. So I go up against the wall like this, and when I go up against the wall, that nigga stand over me like this. So I say to myself, let me stand up, and let this nigga see that even though we the same, Size. You're a little boy. I'm a grown ass man. I, I can hit you with this broken fist and get blood. I just want you to have a bloody mouth so that you can have that lesson later. That that's what happens when you say slick shit to grown ass men. Because maybe them niggas can't teach you that. But a nigga that can hit you is also a nigga that can pull out a gun and blow your motherfucking brains out. Why would you put yourself in that position just because you lost a soccer game? But clearly, you probably don't have no father to teach you that. So bam, you can get that lesson right there. <laughs> but because I'm a real nigga, I'm only going to give you that one punch and then you can do whatever you want to do. Now, if you watch that video and really think that I was getting choked out by a strong teenager, then why don't you catch me when I'm out in public dolo and put your little fragile ass arm around my neck and why don't you choke me to sleep, nigga? I'm simplified till I die, Marine Corps, bitch. I pass, motherfucker. You can't at 16. I don't give a fuck what you say about nothing. That's how I knew New York wasn't gonna cancel on me. New York loved thorough niggas. New York is. I'ma tell you how thorough New York is on. You look like Charlemagne the dog from up here. Is that you, Charlemagne? You want to see the niggas donkey of the day, bitch nigga? I'll take your bitch if she anything, nigga. Take another pueblo, bitch. You'll love me in the morning. I don't give a fuck where you from, you don't give a fuck where some other nigga is from unless he's from Chicago or D.C. Mm -hmm. No, we don't give a fuck about Philly, nigga. Oh. What'd you say, oh. fuck boy? Oh. Fuck you, nigga, shut the fuck up. You ain't made shit, nigga. You probably ain't never even gave that bitch a baby, nigga. Shut your diseased ass up. You probably gave that bitch a chlamydia if you gave her anything old faggot ass, jacket wearing ass. Choke the life out of you in front of your wife, nigga. She just
choose any other bitch ass nigga. It's plenty of them. Yo, shut the fuck up, you big head. I just like the fact that you pay money to get shit upon, nigga. If you was a real motherfucker, you ain't that raggedy bitch. Both of y'all breath. Your breath smell like her pussy. Her breath smell like your dick. Both of them smell like shit. Now you figure that math out. I'm really in this street, motherfucker. Maybe you ain't heard about me, bitch. You might wanna get you a cell phone subscription. Look up TMZ and see if I want to lay your man's fish and go. I said faggot a few times. I didn't mean y'all. Real homosexuals, I make this fake ass faggot. This nigga can't even be a faggot for real because he got a wife. How you gonna be a faggot with a wife, sir? That's just disrespect for the both cultures. <laughs> Young Floyd Mayweather, puss ass nigga. I just want you to know if you meet me in a gas station after this show, my nigga, it's no coincidence. I'm just talking about who you and how many niggas. <laughs> 